Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Caproni Vizola C22J Ventura from Mario Noriega Designs. It was recently put on sale, it will be on sale for most of this month. And that's pretty generous considering its base price was 9 euros, so it was rather affordable to begin with. And it came out at about the same time as a whole bunch of other little light jets. Um, so it's sort of a cute little thing. Actually, the images on Sim Market didn't do it justice as far as how cute it is. But it came out at about the same time as the Subsonics JSX-2, as well as the Bead BD-5J. And I was leaning towards the Bead because... Is it BD? Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so I was leaning towards that because it's sort of famous. But then, uh, but this one seems to have a nice cockpit, so we'll take a look at it. And I decided to get it since they put it on sale. It uh, sort of solved the problem because I was indecisive and I didn't feel like, I, I felt like I should pick one <laughs> instead of trying to like get all of them. I, they are all fairly cute though. Uh, so we have, uh, we have the ability to top it off. I, I noticed that the maximum payload adjusts as we increase the fuel load. So that's interesting. But uh, two fair sized people plus luggage is possible with a full fuel load. So that's nice. The collector tank is interesting. And so we will fly around the Bay Area for a little bit and take a look at it. It says here that the C-22J is not pressurized and oxygen system is provided. If you climb high, monitor your blinker indicators and oxygen pressure gauge. So that's interesting. It's not expecting that. But then again, uh, for the most part in Flight Sim, we're flying fairly low to Site C and this is... Uh, an interesting plane to do that with because it's reasonably fast compared to some of the planes, some of the general aviation planes that we have in the game. So it can get from place to place uh, well. Oh, why is it nighttime? It is definitely... Ah, wow, that's an interesting sound. Actually, while it's nighttime, let's take a look. There's a reflection of the instrument panel in the upper windshield there. So this is the sound of it right now, but I do want it in daytime. Um, live weather and live time, yes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. From the look of things, the pilot and passenger or co-pilot uh, sort of have their legs up quite a bit. It's sort of a bucket seat kind of deal. Which is interesting, leaning back quite a lot. Um, but as nice instrumentation, I especially like having an actual fuel indicator. That's always good. Outside, it looks like this. It's a very interesting design, very slick. And you'll note the air intakes on top there, and there's sort of a whoop, split right down there. It's just sort of fascinating to me. You can see they've added a G indicator because it's capable of acrobatics, aerobatics. There are one kilonewton jet engines. We've got 18 degrees of flaps at most, it looks like. And the recommended entry speeds for acrobatic maneuvers is sort of <laughs> messed up there. I guess my passenger uh, sort of rested their arms on that quite a lot. Would recommend it is not spelled right. Anyway, minor things. But uh, overall, interesting sound. Let's uh, go ahead and try and take off here. That's the brakes that I just released. So that sound is there. Oh, I applied the brakes rather than release. It starts unapplied. Interesting sounds with the landing gear, actually. That's the landing gear retraction sound. Let's throw down a bit. Retracting the flaps.
It's a nifty little thing. Feels like it has a lot of power and acceleration. Let's go all the way and flip around. It doesn't like that angle of attack issue. But how about negative G's? Uh, It can take a lot of negative G's. I don't think the real thing could do that many negative G's. That seems like a lot. We actually have a mock level indicator on the speedometer. Let's see, does it have speed brakes? Yes, it does. And those are actu that's an actually very interesting way of doing speed brakes. The flat lowers and the speed brake extends. See that? Yeah, that's that's very interesting. A lot of little interesting things about this plane. It's loud though. You might want to turn that down at some point. Of course the air intake is like right there, basically. Nice view of our wing there. I suppose I'd like that leading edge texture to be a little bit crisper right there, but it's fine. Well, let's see how it does with photogrammetry. Sort of tadpole looking thing. Back bell park there. Zooming in closer. Fairly nice looking. Wow. The fact that the speed brakes include the flaps does mean that it gets a lot of lift when you apply them. Feeling that this is too fast for it. Let's see. Uh oh, there's an airliner there. Let's just, uh, we'll go around. It's just sitting there though. That's not right, it should clear the runway, darn it. No backward view, really, though. Obviously. The general sightseeing views are somewhat limited. It's got a lot of interesting sounds to it. That's the speed brakes when... We're in the midst of this sort of deal. Oh god, that airliner is like right there again. Well, shoot. You better stop. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. I don't think I like that much. A little bit sideways there. Problem is, I'm still basically fully loaded with fuel, so probably shouldn't be landing like this. Might have wanted to underfuel a little bit. It's 
So, all right, that was the Caproni Vizola C22J. And yeah, seems nifty. So, as I taxi it around, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.